Hi guys, it's Night Fear and I am coming on today to do a little bit of a different video than I've been doing lately. Um, a few months ago I did a tutorial showing you how to do um, acrylic paint and the um, wash with acrylic paint on the, I can't remember what he's called, um, but the kind of the water dragon in Mythomorphia. And I am coming on today to show you how to use pencils over the wash. So I've already started um, on him because I wanted to get an idea, let's see, of what it was going to look like before I showed you guys. Now if you look, over here is just the wash, the acrylic wash, all over here. Uh, and this is shaded with the pencil on his head, on his tip of his tail, and right here. So I'm going to take some of these scales over here, and I'm going to show you how I got this look. Now the colors that I'm using today, in case you want to try to recreate this, um, or just like the color combination and you want to use it on something else, these are Prismacolors. Um, this is... The lightest color I'm using is Blue Lake, and it's PC1102. I am using Mediterranean Blue, which is PC1022. And then I am using Denim Blue, PC1101. Um, so I like to, on most things, I like to use three different colors, usually a light a medium, and then a dark. Sometimes I use a more, but I use at least three. Now on this, I have left a little bit of white space. Well, white, because it's the, through the paint. Um, so it kind of makes it more 3D looking. Um, and then I've also done a little bit over here, and then I've done some right here. Um, so it's up to you how you want to, how you want to do this. Um, if you look, let me see if I can put you down anymore. If you look, you can see some of the little, like little tick lines that Kirby has put in here, um, which are kind of the shade lines. And I usually will color up to those and then leave the little bit of light um, right above that so that you get a nice shade. Okay, so we're gonna take our first color, which is our Blue Lake. And I'm going to, let's start over here, okay? And we just, I color in circles, so you just kind of kind of lightly color. You, can you see what I'm doing? Okay. Um, lightly color, and just kind of color up to where, see I'm going to leave this right in here not colored, so it's just going to be the paint color, the, wa the wash of color. You can't really see that too well, can you? That's about as far as I can get it to go down. So, um, and then I'm going to take the medium color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of leave a little bit of a rim and just kind of take the medium color and kind of go right underneath that to kind of just give some, some depth. Now these two colors are really, really close when you color with them. Um, but it's okay because you still get that that little bit of difference. And then I'm going to go a little darker with my um, denim blue, and I'm just going to kind of shade that where the underneath because it you know the scales overlap one another. So then I'm just going to go ahead. I always um, blend out with my lightest color. Well, usually most of the time, and then I'm just going to kind of blend up with the with the lightest color and then there you go there's one of the scales and then what I'll do is I'll take really wish I could get you guys down a little bit further hold on a second let me see what I can do uh, does that help any okay so then um, I'll just do the next scale right beside it so um, once again I look at the lines and I just kind of go right along maybe sometimes a little above and just leave just a little tip 
just to get that different. Um, now, if you see, some of them I've painted over some of these, um, the water. Um, but that's easy enough just to go over. Either I can go over it with a gel, white gel pen, a white pencil, or if I decide to color it a light blue, it's light enough that I can just go right over, which is nice with the acrylic paint. Um, so then I've already done Blue Lake. Then I go back over with Mediterranean Blue. And yes, I usually do these scales one at a time. Sometimes I'll do two or three at a time. Um, but if you do too many at a time, you lose... Because you want... Like when I did my waves, if you saw my wave tutorial. Like when I did my waves, if you um, do them all at once, it doesn't look individual. And if you think about this... Each of these scales would be an individual scale on this monster. So you take, you know, I think you should take them individually and color them. So that's how I do it. So just kind of go along and shade there. Um, and that was with the denim blue. And then just go along up and go over it and fade all the now I know some people do layer upon layer upon layer I don't really do that um, just not how I color um, and it's fine if you do it that way uh, I mean just do it how you do it with the layering you know a color over color um, the most important part I think is how much just to leave the edges of these and that kind of helps with the dimension um, to give your each of your scales dimension. Bless you in there. My fiance is having sneezing issues. Um, yeah, because I'm in the living room. I'm not usually where I film because it's just too hard to film a video like this in there. So then I just kind of go up to the bottom and that's pretty much it. And it does take a really long time to do. Um, but when you get it finished, it's definitely worth it. Okay, and see, when I get here, I'll just take my darker color, and then I will trace the lines that he's already has in here. And so that kind of goes over the black, but it kind of gives um, the scale definition. And then sometimes I'll take, if they're pretty defined lines, I'll take the darker color, and I'll just go over the lines to kind of give it more... And so you get that look. You get this look right here when you do that. So. But yeah, but I hope you um, like this video. Uh, if you have any questions or want any more um, of these type videos, um, let me know. And I will. Um, but see, those are the three right here that I just did. So, and then the more, I mean, it kind of doesn't look as great when you first do it, but the more you get done, then the more, um, or the better it looks. And unfortunately, my page ripped, and I think it's because where I had the paint on this side, and I also had the paint on this side where I did my ghoul, um, I think the paper just got kind of weak, and it, it ripped. But that's okay because I really wanted to have these bound anyway once I get them finished. Um, so it's okay. It just makes it a little interesting to try to color. So, but anyway, guys, but there is my little, I don't remember his name, but my little, I'm going to call him the water dragon for right now. Um, and um, I was thinking about, I'm probably going to later on today, maybe do a flip through of my, at least my Kirby books and all the pictures I've been working on and started since I showed it to you guys the last time. So, but anyway, thank you so much. And um, like I said, if you want a tutorial doing something else or curious on how I do anything when, when I'm flipping through, let me know. And I will, um, of course, show you guys. I'm sorry this video took so long for me to do. Please remember to always be kind to each other, and I will see you guys again. Bye!